can I let you be free? Say to most people working men's clubs, and they immediately think of northern towns like Scunthorpe, Wigan, Barnsley, or Batley. But if numbers be the yardstick, then Leicester is the capital of clubland. Mercy. Because here there are more clubs per square mile than anywhere in Britain. And now next on this Saturday morning, we hand over to very old mate of mine, Mr Tommy Carton. Well, hello again and good morning all. And here are your club entertainments for tonight. On Elson and Distling Worker Man's Club, it's pop group Flaming Star. Belgrave Worker Man's Club feature vocal and instrumentalist Dean and Jose, and also on the show, vocal entertainer, the lovely Marie Spence. The Karen West show band appear at the LAOB. Listen to this weekly What's On on local radio, and you might think entertainment in the clubs is booming, but this is only a fraction of what it used to be. Working men's clubs, like everyone else, have been hit by the recession too. Multi-instrumentalist Wally Billy Cock King appears at the LAOB Worker Men's Club, and two of the instruments Wally will play will be a pick and shovel. Think I'm joking? You'll see. <laughs> Tommy, how badly has the recession hit you then? Well, midweek, very, very bad. Uh, there's no, hardly anybody comes in at all during the week. Oh, and tonight is a you know, special occasion, it's for a charity show. But uh, weekends, we hold our own at weekends, but I'm talking about our own club here. Um, we still manage to keep the crowd, but it all depends on what type of entertainment you can put on for them. It's got to be good to drag them in. Only if you didn't like the shovel, you can always take your pick. And for the benefit, and for the benefit of the, all the Greek people in the audience and the Jews on the committee. The clubs are run by unpaid committees, and if the comics are right, the entertainment secretary is the king of clubs. They hire and fire all the acts, and during the 70s, when the clubs were booming, many international star names were on their books. Wally Fawkes is one of the oldest entertainment secretaries in the country and he's seen the great come and go. Uh, Charlie Williams, Norman Collier, Teddy Starr, where they used to have a group called the Elephants, and Ken Goodwin. They've all been down to Book and Shoe, and the most price I ever paid for them was £25 per night. But it's not just the artists and the fees they charge which have changed in recent years. Women are gradually being allowed to take a more active part in the running of things. This club, the LEOB, is the first to have a lady concert chairman. We're now to continue your evening's entertainment, ladies and gentlemen, the very popular Mr. Steve Ford. Now the blessings of God on you, and may you all live to see Lord Lucan on This Is Your Life. What a beautiful club you have here. Look at that floor. Hey, that was an island to be on the ceiling. <laughs> now, I got to show you what kind of job jokes you like. Old couple, 92, went to see the solicitor. He said, we want a divorce. He said, God, you've left a bit late, 92. He said, we didn't want to upset the kids. <laughs> so we waited till they died. Now, you, to a certain extent, are unique in that you appointed the first lady chairman. Was that again to try and beat the recession? <laughs> no, Cathy, uh, uh, she's a, 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 an attraction. You know, people do come to see her, you know, have a look at the chair, uh, chair lady. What about the image <laughs> of concert chairman? Real tappers and shunters. Is it like that? No, that's what I'm trying to get rid of. <laughs> do you interrupt the acts? No, no way. No, unless it's a matter of life and death, I won't. So you don't tell them hot pies are on sale no, or anything? No, no. Not unless it's really important to women. A lot of people would say, though, of course, that um, it's uh, women's lid and the clubs don't allow women in. You've proved them otherwise, haven't you? It wasn't intentional. <laughs> and now to carry on with the show, ladies and gentlemen, a band it's always a pleasure to bring on stage. So, ladies and gentlemen, please give a warm welcome to the Billy Walsh Show Band.
when television came in, I found myself that the clubs went absolutely off the board. It was only bingo that brought the people back into the clubs. And what about now? Now, I think um, the groups are gradually taking over from the kind of variety shows that I would like to see and, uh, and the kind of act I like to perform. Do you find the recession has hit you too? Or have more clubs closed down? Well, we've been hearing that there's been one or two clubs closing down in the Leicester area. And, uh, but there is still a lot of scope for bands, if you go out and have a look. My time, when I first started, 28 years ago, it was more or less on variety kind, you know, time, musical. Now it's gone to pop groups, rock and roll, and it's, a t it's a young people's entertainment now, but not the middle-aged people. <laughs> Isn't it the fault of the clubs themselves? Have you not put your prices up too much? Well, I suppose you could blame the breweries for keep putting the beer up. And if Maggie Thatcher puts the beer up in the next uh, election, well, God knows what's going to happen to it. <laughs>